hot for school. I've been in there on days and it's 90 degrees outside, but I'm telling you, it's, it's so hot in there. I thought I was going to pass out one day. I mean, it's bad. I can't imagine them trying to learn. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz wants to change that, speed up the process to get central air in a dozen schools sooner. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great for the kids. Um, they obviously need to have air conditioning to be able to focus if they don't have it. Um, most of them probably aren't paying attention there in school. Battle Grove Elementary is one of the 12 schools that would be accelerated. We spoke with one parent who says it can't happen soon enough. I feel like it's a little late to be worried about that. I mean, it should have been taken care of a long time ago. It's important that they get air conditioning, especially with starting school so early. It's hot. It's hot, you know, through September. The Interagency Committee on School Construction will decide whether or not to grant the waiver. Governor Larry Hogan's spokesperson, Doug Mayer, says the administration supports granting the waiver, saying, quote, while the county executive's so-called plan doesn't come close to providing the immediate relief for our suffering students sought by the governor and comptroller, in this case, something is better than nothing. The number of schools in Baltimore County without AC was 37 as of last week, but the county installed a $3 million AC system in Halstead Academy. It was turned on last Thursday. We did put a list up on our website with those 12 schools. You can go to WBALTV.com for that. And the IAC meeting is scheduled for tomorrow morning at 9 in Annapolis. Reporting live in Baltimore County, Lacey Griffith, WBAL-TV 11 News.